Hi, this is Sandy Joe from RhinestoneTemplates.com, and I'm working with the DAS program, Digital Art Solutions program today in StoneCut Pro. And I'm just going to give a little tutorial here on how to take some fonts and do some bending and manipulating them around just a little bit. Um, and over on your left-hand corner on the toolbar, you'll have a toolbar on your left, and you're going to have a toolbar up on top too with some um, other toolbars that are down in this area. But we're going to be working with um, the big T that you see to the left hand side which is the text tool and um, to work with the text you just go ahead and you click that and then um, our drop down box happens to come out which has all of our fonts and our alphabets in here it will have our um, our regular ones but it will also have the ones that come with a program and it will have the rhinestone fonts too um, in there so we can go ahead and type things out but I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a, a font and I think I grabbed yep, embassy and let's just um, let's just go ahead and type out football and I'm gonna do that I'm gonna make a few of them because I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a couple of different examples on ways of bending so to duplicate something that you've typed out um, you go ahead and make sure you have these black marks around it you've marked it it means you've selected it so now you can work with it and go over to your far right and you're gonna see the duplicate button and just duplicate it and that will duplicate a few of them here and let's maybe do let's do about four of them so we can there we go so we can go ahead and work with them so I've got um, football typed out here um, I'm gonna go ahead and go up to my um, top toolbar where it says file edit and design I'm gonna click under design I'm gonna come about halfway down you see perspective in envelope these two um, things right here do a lot of manipulating with your fonts or any of your shapes or any of your um, designs that you have we're gonna work with the envelope one I'm gonna go over to my slide over to my right hand side and click new envelope and it's gonna bring me up um, a sub toolbar in here the envelope toolbar and um, or transformation bar and it's gonna actually I can take and I can make straight um, designs I can do arc ones I can do curves or I can freehand them and work with the nodes individually so let's go ahead and just choose um, the straight one and let me show you what that does that takes any of these little black line or uh, squares that you have are manipulation squares so you can take that and just make that as arched as you want to make it um, you can also you know arch the other ones if you want to too but um, that lets you go ahead and bring up sharp edges for um, whatever design that you're working on and let's go ahead and go to the next one and I'll go to design and go drop down to envelope go to new envelope and we'll do an arc one this is my favorite when I do a lot of the sports and the spirit wear with this one and I'll just go ahead and bring that up like that and what that did is it rounded up the top then the bottom one always will either um, extend or convex up you know what you're working with so I actually use it for most of my sports I go up so that I can wrap it around a football or I can wrap it around um, a volleyball or a tennis ball or anything you can also drag your corners out if you want so there's a lot of different manipulation stuff that you can actually do um, to make your stuff more creative and make it more of your own and you can also make this area as thin as you want I do all this manipulation before I actually stone um, my objects and my fonts and that way I don't have to worry about if my stones are going to be distorted or not once I have it done we'll go ahead and leave that one be that's my curve and go back up to design come down to envelope new envelope and go to curve and let's go ahead and see and see how that kind of looks more like an ogie tool where it has a convex here and then it comes up or a concave here and then comes up to a nice curve through there it's a whole different look than what we had here so if you had a um, if you had a, a design that you were trying to really really work you know your end piece or your middle pieces up and get a nice curve on your first um, your first font right here then you know that would be a really good one to work with that again you can bring it down if you want to work it like that you can bring it back in if you want to and you can just kinda see how the different even though they're both curved how these two still look look a lot different when we're done 
see how that just looks different than what that one did but playing with those playing with this tool is really fun because you can do a lot of different really awesome stuff with it the the free-handed one I mean you can get in here and you can just work this like crazy when you've got this you can slide this over here if you want which slides everything and slides slants it off the other way than what it was you also have these bars on every one of these little squares right here that you can take and you could actually manipulate those to bring those up more or bring those in so you have a lot of a lot of stuff that you can actually do with that free-handed one but just get in there and play and see what you can do and and uh, manipulate your your fonts around just a little bit and again this is Sandy Joe from rhinestonetemplates.com and come and visit us on our website we have um, lots of the template material that we sell we also do lots of downloads um, that, or custom downloads and regular downloads that we can do for you too and we have uh, um, pre-cut um, templates that we can create for you if you don't have a cutter and if you want to just get into the rhinestone business there um, are a lot of um, transfers custom transfers or last stock transfers that we have online we sell a lot of the hot fixed rhinestones but just come in and come on over to our website and see what we have and if we can help you with anything just send us a note and we'd be glad to give you a quote or a bid for any of the work that you'd like to have done with custom logos or spirit wear again this is Sandy Joe at rhinestonetemplates.com thank you for watching this and I hope this helps just a real basic thing on how to bend some fonts thank you